The fair is a big and crowded place, and sometimes kids can get lost there. Eyewitness News reporter Raina Harvey joins us now live with a way to make sure your kids can get home safely. Raina. Hey, Dave and Rochelle, you're absolutely right. It's something that a parent never wants to have to experience or live through. Going to the fair to enjoy some time with your family and then being separated where the sheriff's office is making sure that parents and their kids don't have to experience that. I'm joined live right now with Sergeant Zach Biddle. Let's talk about this program. Yeah, so in 2014, we had an exponentially high number of missing kids at the fair, almost 450 kids. So we came up with a system where we painted these duck feet throughout the fairgrounds and what they would do is they'd be instructed to follow the duck feet and we'd also stand at the front gate and give them these wristbands and we'd put the parents name and phone number on the wristbands and have the children contact the officials if they become lost and then we can call the family and reunite them. Now Sergeant you guys have gone down significantly over the years and you even gave me a very surprising number this year. Let's talk about how those numbers have decreased. That's correct. This year we're on target to have less than 50 missing kids at the fair. Uh, so the program is a huge success. It's a huge benefit for the public and the people who come to the fair. How important is it for parents and kids to have a way to reconnect, especially how many people you see come into this fair every year? Well, you know, there's so many lines, there's so many lights and so many things to do, and the kids, it's easy to get lost. So when we can provide that service and reunite these children and take a very fearful situation and turn it into something positive, then we've done our job. Thank you so much for that, Sergeant. Now, it's not just you. It's all hands on deck. I'm joined live right now with two of the explorers here in this program, um, Holly and Michael. Now, you were telling me just moments ago that a mother that reconnected with her child, it was very emotional. Holly, let's talk about that. Yeah, we were standing out here giving out wristbands, and she was on her way out of the fair. She was still upset. She was still crying, and she came up, and she thanked us and told us that it's really a great thing. It was very, uh, very heart crazy for her when her son went missing, but moments later she got a call because we gave her son that wristband. That's so wonderful. Now, Michael, what is it? how does it make you feel being a part of something like this and knowing that kids have a way to be reconnected with their families? It feels really good that seeing children, families reconnect, because kids can easily get distracted here, and it's heartwarming to see them get back together. Thank you. Now let's talk about how can parents do this. So they come to the front gate at the fair. We're here every year. We've got a large green tent right outside the front entrance, and I've got explorers out here. They've got clipboards and Sharpies in hands prepared to write information down in these wristbands. And when we do have sufficient amount of explorers, we'll also run this booth at the Union Gate and potentially the Belteris Gate. Uh, tonight, we're definitely out here at the Union Gate and the Bell Terrace Gate. Right. I'm sorry, and the Main Gate. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you're coming out here to the fair, make sure you get your kids signed up like this little sweetie pie here and her mom so you guys can stay safe and be reconnected with your families. Again, reporting outside the Kern County Fair, Raina Harvey, Eyewitness News. Very smart program. All right, Raina, thank you. Meanwhile, a man who has never gotten lost at the fair, at least not to